South Korean military acknowledged the Nord's projectile was a new type, but one that shows significant progress. For more on this, we have our defense ministry correspondent Kim Hyun Bin here with us in the studio. Hyun Bin, thanks for joining us today. Uh, good evening, Daniel. And as you mentioned, there was some confusion at first. Now, Joint Chiefs of Staff initially said uh, the North Korea fired a Nodong or a possible upgraded Mustang missile. Now, experts believe that the JCS conducted its analysis based only on the missile's radar signature and its range. However, South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff corrected its stance on Monday. Monday, that the mid-range missile North Korea fired over the weekend, the Pukuksong-2, appears to be an upgraded version of its submarine-launched ballistic missile. Last August, North Korea launched the Pukuksong-1 uh, from a submarine, and it flew over 500 kilometers. Experts say it could carry a payload of about 650 kilograms with a maximum range of 2,000 kilometers. Now, putting all U.S. bases stationed in Japan in reach, however, experts believe the most recent launch is a more advanced version. This is an upgraded version of SLBM on land. North Korea has also developed a launch pad that is capable of conducting a cold launch, which is used to launch missiles from submarines. Now, Hyunbin, I understand the name, which is a little bit difficult for some people to pronounce, Pukuksong-2, will use a solid fuel launch technique. Could you uh, list out some of the noteworthy differences between solid fuel and uh, liquid fuel for us? Uh, well, sure thing. Uh, South Korea's Defense Ministry actually backed up North Korea's claim that this missile used a solid fuel engine. Now, for a better perspective, let's take a look at the comparison chart. Now, compared to liquid fuel, solid fuel engines take less than to fill, and the fuel can be stored for a long period of time in the missile. They also say that uh, when this type of missile is attached to a mobile launch pad, North Korea can launch it at any time and from any place, making it harder for Seoul and Washington to detect the missile before launch. Now, let's hear what an expert had to say. There is a reason North Korea prefers solid fuel. Liquid fuel is difficult to inject and takes a long time. Solid fuel engines are more combat proficient, and it will be hard for Seoul to use the kill chain system to launch a preemptive strike on a solid fuel missile. All right, let's talk about uh, relativity with this one. Uh, how does it fare compared to uh, other ballistic missiles in uh, North Korea's uh, arsenal? Well, uh, for a better understanding of what North Korea is capable of, uh, let's take a look at another chart. Now, here you see three different types of missiles. The Scud C, which has a range of 500 kilometers, can target all units in South Korea when fired from the border. Now, the Nodong missile has a range of 1,300 kilometers, enabling it to target U.S. bases in Japan, including the U.S. infiltration base in Okinawa. The IRBM Busan has a range of 3,000 kilometers and will be used to target the U.S. naval base in Guam. Now, there needs to be a f for further analysis of the Pukuksong-2 because this was its first launch, but some experts say that when launched at a 70-degree angle, it could have a range similar to that of the Mustang, which has a range of uh, 3,000 kilometers. Right. Uh, we are used to hearing uh, missile launches and testing from North Korea, but I understand this one indicates the new type is of a greater threat to South Korea and even to the U.S. Uh, sure is. Now, it can be launched both on land and sea. Now, however, North Korea uh, currently has only a single 2,000-ton uh, Shinpo-class submarine uh, that can launch it. Now, still military officials I've talked to say the regime is working on developing a 3,000-ton sub within the next few years. Now, this would be a great threat to both South Korea and the U.S., but it's hard to detect a submarine underwater. Now, sailors I've spoken uh, to say it's really looking for a needle in a haystack. Right. Uh, we need to constantly be aware of the fact that North Korea, although sometimes they may seem outdated in many ways, they are cornered in many ways and isolated. And as, as to, that, uh, to that extent, they are very dangerous. So thank you for bringing those uh, details to light today, Yang Bin. Uh, thank you.